was so into it when he was running. He does like the most basic things. He's made some good songs. Gentlemen, and welcome to the Keepers Gauntlet. Tonight we got the team tournament preview. We're going to be talking about all the matches that are happening. We're going to introduce all the competitors. It's going to be a good night. And I got my boy Travis. How you doing, Travis? First of all, I'm not his boy. I'm his boss. And second of all, wow, it's great to be here. I am the chairman, and I'm the sports champion, right. and I'm the longest Keepers Gauntlet champion, and I'm going to be the first ever team champion coming up. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Is uh. Team tournament is happening. We're gonna team have four tournament. separate teams. It's a, it's gonna be a spicy adventure, as one might say. Very spicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four teams. Hey, I didn't even know we had that many competitors in the pool. I'm busy. I'm signing contracts tonight. There's gonna be two new Wolf two. Order members. Two wow. new Wolf Order members. Yeah, we are popping off. The big disease time. is spreading. You can uh, say. Or joy, or joy. Just like pecans, they go all over the world and they make people happy. Especially, Especially in France. Yeah, people, French people <laughs> yeah. love the pecans. They sure and do. Um, I hope whoever makes pecans sponsors us. Who is our first uh, competitor today? You know, I don't think laugh. This is a serious issue. We're talking about the first ever team champions. This we're is adding big. our third title to the gauntlet. It, it's true. It's, I it's, am. It's no joke. Uh, you know, I think I think first we're gonna we're gonna bring Jessica into the house sure. for some interviews. Jessica, wherever you are in the world, could you please grace us? <laughs> Come back from France. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Here. That's some editing magic. How's it going, Jessica? How are you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? Uh, you know, I'm not bad. I mean, I kind of just got reamed out by Travis, so that that's didn't a, feel that's great. That's why I'm sitting closer to you. Yeah, he's, so. his side of the couch is kind of tainted by it that. Is. We still don't know what that wolf or disease is, do we? No, but no. I'm just, you know, as far away as possible. You right. know, I don't want to catch it. Mm -hmm. so, so, before, yeah, yeah, let me ask a few questions. Yeah, here. go you know, for it. Not, you know, you're the voice of the gauntlet, but you're not, you know, the man of the gauntlet. That's so. all I am. That's yeah, yeah, you're just a retired <laughs> bum, remember? Yeah, so, exactly. So <laughs> how, how are you feeling in general, Jessica? You had a big win a couple weeks ago with a huge fluke against Taylor, but you did have a big win. Wow. How are you feeling? How are you feeling I about personally that? think that game was, was, like, skill, mostly skill. I think it was I nothing but luck, but that's okay. I think it was my high egg-cracking ability that pulled it off in mm. the end. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. I didn't see you cook with many pecans, though, so... There was no, no pecans. <laughs> no, pecanless game. But how are you pecan. feeling? You got a big win, how, and, you know, it was against the Wolf Order, so we're... I will announce that you are going to be versing two members of the Wolf Order, whoever your meaningless tag team partner is going to be. You are going against two wolves. Two wolves. Mm -hmm. When? When am I talking about? I asked you how you feeling after your big win. Yeah, but based on the fact that I'm going up against two people with some kind of contagious disease, I mean, I'm feeling good about my win, but I'm mm -hmm. still, you know, every day is a mystery when dealing with disease. It's a pretty unpredictable <laughs> illness. We still don't know where it started. I think it might have started back in Chernobyl. I don't like know. this complete slander that's going on. We're a unit. We're taking over the world. We are the world, and we're going to be the team champions. Now... We don't know who your partner is. You've said you have a partner. I think you might be lying. There's a fucking mustache cardboard that exists in this house. That could be it's your partner. It's actually a cardboard mustache. Because if you don't have, if anyone does not have a partner, it's just going to be 2v1. So I hope that you do have a partner. My partner is uh, the one, the only person who has joined me right now, Kirkland. Kirkland Patzer? Yeah! Joining on the couch. How's it going, my friend? We're the you know flannel what? buddies tonight. You know, I'm feeling excellent. Thank you very much for that wonderful mm. introduction. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be healthy. You are healthy. <laughs> this is our Travis doesn't seem too happy to have You here. told me, I messaged you last night, and you said you were just going to come and watch. You said you weren't playing for like a couple more wow. months because your hand was broken. You know, I've been working really closely with my personal trainer. Frankly, <laughs> we, we've had a lot of rehabilitation sessions, uh -huh. and he is phenomenal. He's right. fr he comes straight from France. He loves pecans. Really? Yes. Yeah. Sounds really reminiscent. Oh of yes, him, and kind of no, it's it's on. it's very intense yeah. therapy, honestly. And well, how uh, how are you doing like mentally as well? Because we haven't seen you oh, in a while. You got hit by a car, is what we heard. Or Do you know who attacked you? 
stolen from the wolf lord. You know, like, no, was, we would not do anything attack. like that. It was a sneak attack. I think there was. I think it was a passerby. Oh, almost like face. an assassin's creed type attack. No, complete lies. Wrong. Wrong. We had nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> so you still don't know. The attacker is on the loose. You know, the cops weren't able to find them. There was an artist that did a sketch, uh, but it didn't really, it didn't really seem familiar to me. But right. although I didn't see his face, right. But regardless, I'm ready. I've been waiting for this moment for months, however long I've been going. It's been a while. It's it feels like forever, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you guys are teaming up now. Why did you guys decide to team up? You both had maybe not the most successful gauntlet careers. You've never taken the title, never won the big one. Do you think together you'll combine forces and you know, really take over the Dale's world? just trying to say, how does it feel to lose to me, Kirkland? You can come back and want the sports title, but you're never going to get it. You don't uh-huh. deserve a single thing. Well, we are together. Get, right? That illness, sure you see, really say. takes over, man. <laughs> we're together. We have very high common interest. And we're thinking, too, with our high interest in anime, we might mm. even be able to pull in Tyler, who was also thrown over by the Wolf Order once before in a very yeah. unfortunate incident that was quite unfair, if I do say so as well. It's a good thing that you guys are comparing yourself to anime, because your group, whatever you're forming, can also be meaningless and only like a small pocket of losers mm. talk about it, you know? Mm. You know, so that fits for, you know, Wolf Order, mainstream, worldwide, anime, this is as well. Ghost rather- in the Shell, Death Note, <laughs> they're really killing it this year. Rather be you know, left alone. <laughs> and a worldwide disease, actually. I'm not gonna true. lie. That is true. We are the healthy ones. We are healthy. We we have a lot of chemistry. I feel like we just have the mental fortitude to come through with this. All right, guys. So before we get to the team tournament itself, you know, we're gonna get everyone warmed up, playing some matches. You guys are playing in a one v one v one against Taylor Field. You're gonna play some Halo Four. How do you guys feel about that? We'll start with you, Jessica, as the resident Halo fan. Uh, I will go ahead and throw out that it's not actually a 1v1v1, it is now a 2v1. Wow. It's all the same shit the Wolf Order pulled. All right, okay. Switching the tables up. That's fair. Yeah. An eye for an eye makes the world go blind, ladies and gentlemen. So they can say they're so much better than us, but look, they're just doing tactics. You know well, what? if I go blind, I don't have to look at you. Oh, wow. wow. That would be a sad thing. in the shade. Throw in the shade. Now, Kirkland, you have a, you're a bit different with Halo. You're yes. a little experienced with the game. I don't know if you've ever played Halo 4, which is what we'll be playing. You know, I've, I've never touched Halo 4 before, mm. but I feel like all Halo games are kind of similar in a sense. Right. So, so how do you feel about this match coming up? Obviously, if you guys no, have a 2v1, that's helpful. Exactly. We have the numbers. Um, but I'm very confident. I have to remind right. you guys wow. that there's only one winner for this, so eventually you're going to have to fight each other. We'll cross so how do you feel against... Get there. Okay. You want to just let it, yeah, let yeah. the cards unfold out how they will. Uh, and when it comes to the team tournament itself, uh, quick question: what, what are they playing in the tournament? Uh, that's not been discussed yet because their okay. opponents are not revealed yet. They they can figure. They'll. I'll let them know when they need to know. <laughs> we have four members of the Wolf Order. We don't know which combinations we're. We have lots of different combinations, lots of different things we could do and cook up. So that information will be shared when the time is needed. Okay, well, I look forward to seeing you guys compete in the team's tournament. I do just want to let you know, though, yeah, if we're talking about cooking up stuff, I did beat the Wolf Order at that already. You no. have, and I am an experienced, uh, overcooked player. You've Whoa. been known to cut some shallots. Shit. I am very, that is I'm nice. very skilled. We should just play that. Overcooked. That's we what should. we should play. I'm down to play some overcooking teams. I put a vote in for that one. Yeah, nice. Well, any last words for the fans here from you two? Uh, don't be surprised if me and Jessica <laughs> kick Taylor's ass in this next game. Oh boy. Well, I look forward happen. to it. Thank you so much for the interview, guys, and good luck in your matches. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Okay, thank I'm you. not thanking Travis. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we're going to bring a old school Geekers Gauntlet player, Rayu Bomb, into the arena. Come on, have a seat, my I'm man. Awesome. Mm. Hello, boys. How are you doing tonight, man? I'm mad. Wow. There he is. Wow. So last time we saw you, huge opportunity, Geek Mania, it was our season finale of season one. You and Taylor main evented the show, and it didn't necessarily go your way. You've not been back at the gauntlet since then. What has your mindset been? Like, what have you been going through? You've been training more? Like, what's going on? Because that, that was a big loss. Because you went from defeating six people in a row, you won the first ever ladder match, you were on a high, everybody expected mm-hmm. you to beat Taylor, and you didn't beat Taylor. So how are you feeling? Mad. Mad. Okay. How have you been doing to prepare? You see, I take my seething anger every single morning, Mm. and I fuel it into a drink, and I drink it back. Oh, And it makes me angrier. That sounds unsafe. Yeah, do you sell those drinks? Absolutely. Mm. 1999. 
Well, I have a little surprise for you. Um, Taylor Field, my wolf brother, and is here, and he has a few words he'd like to say to you. Come pop a squat next to me. Bonjour. You're not welcome here. So, Taylor, what do you feel about uh, Ruben being back? Last time you uh, you saw this man at the gauntlet, you he wiped the floor with him or something like that. I don't know. You know, it was. I'd say it was close, but it wasn't. I mean, Mario Kart. I I, I was shocked, but at the same time, I had to ride off that that steam from that French bread. You know. Well, Taylor, I see you have a new look going on. You got like the Aunt Jemima bandana. I respect that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it really lines up with the cro croissant thing you got. We got matching shirts. I see that. It's all about the hashtag heel, you That's know? That's so cute. I'm so proud of you guys. Wow. That's mm -hmm. interesting. You know what? I, I'm, I'm putting my foot down. The heel's coming down. I'm going to challenge you, okay? We're going to go heel to heel, okay? We're going to fight, and I'm going to have to just wipe the floor with you. Just like that. Just... Just like that there, okay? That's what you want, mother trucker. Mother trucker. You know what? You can't talk to me like that. Because we're the wolf order and we deserve... Oh my god! Oh! How's it feel, bitch? I'm here, you know? This is the weirdest wow. hug of my life. Mm. I don't I don't trust this It couch. just got three times I'm getting out worse. of here! I'm very much in the middle. Welcome, <laughs> Ruben Olsen. He is the third member of the Wolf Order. Yes, that was all in the past. Yes, they fought, but now they're going to be a team. These men are teaming up in the team tournament. They're going to be facing, who knows, some losers, some jabronis, and they're going to beat them. How do you guys feel you're going to work as a team? You have yet to team in the gauntlet. Obviously, you've played video games a lot in the past, but how are you feeling about your chances? you got to beat two teams to become the team champions. I think our competitive spirit will combine into a burning passion. Mm. Burning passion. Very interesting. You know, I think that uh, me and Ruben got a long history of video games, and we, we fumed it out in that... Uh, that uh, good old uh, match there where my title was up on the line mm -hmm. and uh, you know we took out some anger on each other since then there's been some swabs and some squeebs and it's been it's been very intense but you know we're in it to win it right now mm -hmm. at their weakest point they're still stronger than everyone else and that would have been if you guys were teaming up like in the past when you guys had fought now they're on the same page we're all together in the group we're taking over we still got another member to add later on we're unstoppable Oh yeah, Ruben, that's our, that's our thing. You could have told me about that. <laughs> no, it's not six, it's just one. There's not six <laughs> of us, there's just three of us. What do you think of that, Dylan? Just an another member coming into the Wolf Order. It's, it's a glorious day. You know, I feel bad, because I don't know Ruben that well, but I've, I've seen that he is a good guy at heart, but I don't know how long that can really last. We are good guys. We are the good guys. You are all the well, bad guys. Well, I see. I would strongly disagree with that. Mm. Uh, but honestly, that doesn't really matter. You know, he's on the squad now. We'll see how long it lasts. We'll see if you. I mean, there's. What are you guys gonna do? Team up and do three v ones and like three. V, like this isn't gonna work. It's it's just not logistically possible. We can do whatever we want. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be adding a new member right now. A new number member. four. Let me introduce you to someone you know quite well, Saris. Come take a seat. No, no, no. I've no, talked no, about no, this. No. Our newest sign No, to this the is gauntlet. bullshit. This is not happening. If you watch Saris, okay. if you watch our Saris. 24 hour stream, he played with us there. Thank you very much for joining us today, sir. To yes, here. yes. So, Dylan, you want to introduce Saris first and tell the viewers who he is before we get into this? Well, you know, Saris is one of my very best friends. Uh, he lives in the Custard Dome, which is where you know we record these matches. That is the arena. And I know this guy is a very skilled gamer, you know, he just schools, you know, Dark Souls like it's no joke, he, you know, maybe he gets a little bopped in Smash Bros, but he's been around the block when it comes to video games, he knows what he's doing, but I also know him to be a very strong, level-headed individual, so to the fact that he's joining up with the Wolf Order to me is despicable, I honestly feel like walking off set and puking in the corner, that just makes me sick to my stomach. Well, before you that. puke, I have to introduce and present him with his first shirt. This is the sign. This is what you get to enter into the brethren. Saris, there you go. The good old Wolf Order shirt. You know what? Thanks, but yeah. no thanks. You know, I don't like what you guys stand for. I don't like what this bullshit is, and I'm just playing for myself. Wow. I thought we were gonna, you and I were going to be a wow. team in the team tournament. You, you, that's what we talked about. Is that wrong? Travis, you can't buy friends. You can't buy friends with Invading their space with the wolf order illness. You have to earn friends through respect and competition. Well, well, okay, but hang on. You have to have a partner to be in the team turn. I don't see a partner around here. I don't see a partner. Who would be your partner? Do you have a partner? 
my man, T squared. Oh, T squared. Oh my God, come come up a squat. squat. Tyler Briggs, the current Geekverse Gauntlet champion, teaming up with Tyler Saris. This is T squared. Now these two have a long history. I've seen them play beer pong. They're known as the most legendary beer pong duo of Undefeated. all time. Yeah. Uh, this is an exciting team up. I'm excited to see this. Tyler, you told me you were you were too busy with the cha your championship to enter the team tournament. I lied. Honestly, I'm championship doesn't take a lot of time, doesn't take a lot of effort. Uh, let's see my next opponent, Taylor, coming up. I didn't have much to worry about. I figured I could stretch out and help wow. my boy. Wow. That is my Sarah's brother own. you're talking about right there. And, you know, I saw he's in a tight spot. He, like, he pulled those strings. I, I figured I could make some time for him, and I will never pass up an opportunity to stick it to the wolf order. You're all going to lose. You're all going to lose. Just like you guys may be chumming right now, but just like you and Dylan started fighting, you guys are going to start bickering. God. No. Damn it! I just don't see it happening. <laughs> well, Travis is gone, but I'm excited to see this too. Why, why did you guys decide to team up? This is obviously your entrance into the gauntlet, and you thought the best way to do it was with Tyler Briggs. I think it's a good idea. You but... know, we have good chemistry in the, in the past. It's beer pong, you know. It's, uh, mm -hmm. it's it's magical to see it. So I think you guys are facing up against Taylor and Ruben, who obviously yep. Ruben just joined the Wolf Order. How do you guys feel about playing them? I'm excited. I've just been waiting for a chance to get back at Taylor. Mm, yeah. You know, last time I played against him, it was a 2v1 situation. Now we're going at it 2v2. I don't think he stands a chance. Looks like Ruben, I haven't played against him. Mm -hmm. I know he ha I think he has the best record aside from me in the gauntlet. He has a good record. He does have a yeah. good record. I haven't seen him play myself personally, so I'm going to be a little bit wary, but I think, uh, I don't think they stand a chance, honestly. When, when it comes to synergy, when it comes to competitive edge... They're a lot of heart. Oh, you know, I don't see much heart, heart. In, in the Wolf Order. True. You know? I like to hear heart. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I stand for in the gauntlet. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm I'm super excited to commentate and see your matches and you know see the results. So good luck, and uh, hey. we'll see you on the battlefield. <laughs> 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 I thought you were going to say something. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I don't. I'm so confused. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what you're doing with the fucking <laughs> croissant right now. That's kind of throwing things off. Just go back, just go back to keep eating them. Dylan, think, think of a good question to ask. Both these gentlemen. Okay. Ask him about his luck. <laughs>